Hi everyone, so this is day one of the reading, um, rush, and yeah, let's go! Morning everyone, so, uh, it's the first day of the readathon, and it's currently almost 8.30 in the morning. I've got, no, 9.30 in the morning, wait, no, 8.30 I think, wait, what time is it? 8.30 in the morning, I have class at 10, so... Actually, I might snooze for a little bit longer. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so... Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> okay, now I'm finally more awake. Um, only took me an extra hour, but I'm dressed, I'm awake. And obviously the first book I'm going to start with is A Clash of Kings because literally my head has been stuck in Westeros for the past week or two. So we're going to have to just go to Westeros. But before I can go to Westeros and read this lovely book, I have to go to class because I've got class from 10 till 11 unless we run late or start late. I don't know. But either way, I have class. And I can't for the life of me remember which one it is. So, that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, so that's going to be me for the next hour. And then hopefully I can just start reading. Or maybe get something to eat. I don't know which. But, I've started. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, class ran late, but only by like, 10 minutes, I want to say, maybe 15, 13, depends on how long it took me to write that sentence, um, which, okay, it just means I'm behind the schedule already, and I realised in class, because while I did get the email and I did look at it, I didn't really register the date, I have an exam next Monday. It's our calculations exam for medications, because that was the subject I had this morning. And guess what? On that exam, you have to get 100% or you do not pass. And I'm just like, why must we do this? Why? Why, why must we do this? So um, I'm going to have to study for that this weekend just to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Like, it should, it's pretty simple math. It's just rearranging a formula and knowing your decimal places and your um, conversion rates. And that shouldn't be too hard. Second thing I remembered that has caused me great irritation with life, because I don't know if I can blame anyone in particular. So, you know how the Reading Rush, they've done this awesome journal, and I was so excited, because, look at this, look. Clearly, I love journals. <laughs> so, I was so excited. So, I ordered it as soon as possible. And because I'm Australian, whatever price they have on the website, you have to double that. To me. Plus, add shipping. So, guess what? It has not arrived yet. And we're in the reading rush right now. And I want to use this freaking journal. So, I've had to buy the PDF version. Isn't that just the way? So, like, I'm looking at it, because I got it open here on my computer, and there's Superwoman, <laughs> and it looks awesome. Like, I love this journal. It is so cute. And look at these pages we've got for the days. So you've got day one, what are you reading today, pages read per day, out of your TBR picks, which one might be a five-star read. And then reading sessions, so like your times when you read. And then your day one journal, and then your plan for tomorrow. And I'm like, that is so clever and cute, and hopefully that will just keep me focused. But since I don't have it on me, I'm going to have to write this down in a different notebook and then transfer it. Honestly, I should have just bought the PDF and then printed it. But I wanted the cute little format that they've done. So I'm... Extremely irritated, to say the least. <laughs> Extremely. Um, so now I've just got to decide, do I start reading or do I go have lunch? Because it's almost 11.30, so it's not quite lunchtime. But I have class again 
at 1.30. If I eat at 12, then that should give me enough time. And then I can just read straight after that, even though there's some preparation I have to do for class we have tomorrow. I'm wondering if I can skip it. <laughs> These thoughts that go through my head. All right. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I decide to do in the future. Bye. Okay. So <laughs> I've realized several things. One, the way I was filming before means that it's going to be very skinny and a lot of black. So I'm going to try and just film lengthways now. Two, <sighs> With this behemoth of a book that I've set myself, The Clash of Kings, which is over 800 pages, I'm going to have to estimate 300 pages a day just so I can get to the other books on my TBR pile. None of them are anywhere near as long. I think the next longest is like 300 pages. And that one I know I can read. It's just easy. But this is dense. This is heavy. And I've just gone through the first 23 pages. Now, the time currently is... Almost 12.30, and you're probably like, the F, but I didn't stop, I read and didn't stop until 12, and then I went to go and get lunch. It was just as well I did that, because uh, we were out of bread, so I had to make two-minute noodles. And the other thing is, my package from Black Milk arrived. Now, this is the last piece of clothing I'm ordering from Black Milk for, like, the rest of the year. It's, like, a very, very long time, because clothing is hecka expensive, and I am broke AF. I ordered three things. I ordered a pair of. Oh, it comes. Yeah, it came with a belt. Nice. Wait, is this a belt? I don't know what that is. But I ordered a pair of cargo pants. Hopefully, these will fit alright. It's looking like they will. They're not as stretchy as the last ones I ordered. Maybe that's why they come with the belt. Mm, I ordered them. If I don't like them, I can return them. So that's a good thing. I ordered this Harry Potter top. Because it was on special. And I apparently have no self-control when it comes to getting merch that has bronze. really cool so I'm excited to have that one and final thing is the thing I'm most excited for <laughs> and I really want to wear it but it's freezing in Melbourne at the moment so I don't know if I can wear it today that is this pair of leggings okay they don't look fabulous when I'm not I haven't got them on but trust me well, at least they best look brilliant once I do. And now I really want to try them on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try them on. Um, okay, I've tried them on. They all fit reasonably well. Like, I'm not, still not entirely sure about the cargo pants. I may send those back. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing one of them right now, but you'll see it later. Um, uh, it was good. But I need to go eat real quick before class starts, and hopefully I can get a little bit more reading in. I am really enjoying Game of Thrones so far, but <laughs> we've just gone through the prologue and someone's already dead. So, <laughs> Muy typical, eh? Alright. Okay, so my class just finished. We had research, and it's not up on Moodle yet, so I was very bored just listening to her talk about referencing. But, um... I'm going to go back to reading uh, Clash of Kings because my goal is by the end of the day I'll have read 300 pages, if not more. So I'm going to go do that and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I have to stop for a little bit. I have read from 2.30 to like 5.10 and I've uh, read over a hundred pages. I'm at the 139 mark. So that's good. I'm making progress. I'm making headway, but I have to stop for a bit. The writing is very small and 
this book is incredibly dense. Like, if you've never read Game of Thrones, you won't know, but it is very dense. Like, it's good. I'm really enjoying it, but it's really dense. I think what's actually helping me, which may not help others, but it's helping me, is the constant point of view changes. Because that's keeping, like, the story fresh. And... I'm, I've taken, and what's also slowing me down is I've taken to writing notes after each chapter. And I've been putting in so many quotes. Like, okay, um, this is one of my favourites that I've got. Is, Robert was the true steel. Stannis is pure iron, black, hard and strong, yes, but brittle. The way iron gets, he'll break before he bends. And Renly, that one, he's copper. Bright and shining. Pretty to look at, but not worth all that much at the end of the day. And I'm like, true words never been spoken, sir. True words. We haven't had Renly's point of view yet, but I'm just like, the fact that you've declared yourself king already makes you an idiot, so. Now, I'm a little bit annoyed because <laughs> I mentioned this morning that the journal hadn't arrived. So, I bought the PDF. Which is $9 in American and up $14 in Aussie, which is not a lot. But look what my brother just handed me. The journal! It's arrived! Fantastic, right? Yay! But it also means I spent $14 on nothing. So I am rather annoyed by that. But I'm very pleased to have the book. And I will get to work on that. That might be what I do with my break. I just, I have to stop for a bit. I will continue. My goal is to reach page 300 by the end of the day. If I do that, then I've done well. But I still say I've done pretty well. Pretty darn well. So, <laughs> class is finished at 2.30, so that's good. And I'll have classes again tomorrow, so ugh, Lord help me. Um, and on Wednesday, you would think I could spend the whole day reading, but no, I'm th we've got assignments starting to pile up, so I want to make at least a start on that. So I'm going to have to do that with May, if we can arrange a time, and then sort my reading in amongst that. So I do recommend buying the journal. It's good quality, and what I really like about it is, like, the cover's nice and smooth, but inside is paper, so it, you can actually write on it, which is always good. So, yeah, that's what's happened with me so far. I'm going to need to buy another pen, though. I'm running out of ink, and I've insisted this book is just going to be this blue. So, that's annoying, but... Mm. A Clash of Kings! <sighs> but I have made a decision. This illustrated is nowhere near as good as the other one. I much prefer the layout of the other one. So, yeah, I'm not going back to this again. Even if it's the one that Australia gets, I will wait the extra month for the book to deliver. Or however many weeks. Rather than buy that one again. It's about the same price, so it works out. This may be about $10 cheaper. Anyway, so this is me. I will talk to you later. Okay, so I'm seriously debating what I should do right now. Like, I'm thinking, uh, should I go back to reading or should I do my Pilates and take a shower and take the Instagram picture for today? Because I went through the book with the Instagram challenges, so this thing, and honestly, I have no idea about this one. I'm, I'm, I looked at it and I was just like, what? The Instagram challenge for today, if I can flip to the right page, is everything so much harder when you're doing it one-handed, is to recreate a book cover. Bro, I've got so many book covers. I, I don't even know. So I think I'm just going to do a Ruby Redford one, which could be like a cop-out, because it's basically just like Ruby Redford and then her eyes, so I'll just take a picture of me. But... It's about all I can think of. Um, anyway, so that's an idea. Or I could just delve back into reading. 
I've officially reached, because I've had dinner, and I got to page 158, so I've officially got the halfway point. I'm just going to read another 150 pages, give or take, because I always finish at the end of a chapter. And we'll see what... Yeah. And then I'll have read 300 pages today. But I realised the section I am least looking forward to in this book. It's every single thing on section. Because I read the history of Westeros, so I read the history of the Iron Islands. It hasn't made me like them any better. And Theon is a complete moron in this. Uh, literally what all I've put for that chapter is, Theon is an idiot, that captain's daughter is a moron, Balon is bitter and a fool. That's all I've written. Because <laughs> like, Asha isn't there to be amazing, so... We're up the creek without a paddle on that one, mates. <laughs> You'll see whatever I come up with. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hey guys, so um reading one out, I read and I'm to 223 I think, so just like 70 pages or so to go, which is great. Then I'll reach my 300 goal, which is awesome, and I'll close out the video then and do the introduction because I was too sleepy this morning to film an introduction. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take a shower real quick and then talk to my best mate because she wants to talk. I also did Pilates, so yes. Success! I have not done much schoolwork, but I did everything else I set out to do today. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so this is just my wrap-up video for Reading Rush Day 1. Yes, I am slaying so far. Let's hope I can keep up the momentum. Uh, sorry, I'm being really quiet right now because it is currently 12.30 at night and I'm oh, actually 12.42 at night and I'm assuming everyone else is in bed. So I'm trying to be very, very quiet. Um, but yeah, so my Reading Rush journal has arrived and it is gorgeous. Kudos to Raylene and Ariel for that. It is truly gorgeous. Um... I have read into A Clash of Kings and look at all these notes I have taken, my goodness. Oh, so many pages. And you would think that I would be well on, like, I would be finishing the book with this many notes, but with something as dense as uh, A Clash of Kings. No, I've only made it through the first 300 pages. I'm up to page 302. I have set myself goals with this book because it is so long. Each day I'm going to read 300 pages and by then, and by doing that, I should be at the end of the book by Wednesday, which is good because then I can start the others because they're much shorter. Um, I am enjoying this so much. Like, there is one bit I'm not enjoying, and that is Theon's chapters. I don't like the Ironborn. I have read his Song of Ice and... The World of Ice and Fire, which is basically about the history. So I've read the history of the Ironborn. Did not make, like, make me like them any better. So that's the one dark spot. But other than that, it is just so... Good. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Arya, all the characters have been developed really well. We've met so many of my faves. Um, so we've met Gendry, we've met Brienne of Tarth in the last chapter. My queen. Brienne! My love for Brienne knows no bounds. It truly does not. Um... A lot of people are idiots, though. <laughs> so many people are idiots. Renly. Um, Renly is the chief idiot, that's not I'm not gonna lie. Balon Greyjoy is another one. Stannis. In the sense, like, I understand him. I understand that he's not been paid his dues or been given respect. But... It's freaking, um... Uncompromising piece of crap who's gonna cost him the war. 
need to compromise, Tan. Yes, compromise. Who would even think that if he aligned himself with the North and then married the brand to Shireen or Rickon to Shireen, it would unite the houses anyway and it would all be a moot point? Come on, let's not think about it. Also, the Crescent died, which was like one of only two voices of reason on that bloody rock. So Davos being the other, and they sent him away. Well done. By the way, in case you didn't realise, spoilers for Clash of King. Spoilers. Uh, I think the most painful thing for me right now is Arya is in the Netherlands, and they keep talking about wolves, and we've even seen wolves. And yet Arya and Renly have not been reunited. We're gonna see them never reunite, please. So they reunite at some point in Winds of Winter or its sequel. I'm told to Al Martin. We'll be getting a very angry letter from him. Um, oh, Danny. Poor, poor Danny. She's only. She's 14 now. She must have had a birthday. But she has lost everything. And also, Sajora has a really sad tale. I don't like that high tail lady. Tyrion is magnificent, and it didn't need to be my favourite character. Like, okay, that's fine in the actual books. Like, Brienne's my favourite character from the show, but I've only just met her in the books. In the books at the moment, Tyrion is my favourite character, with Arya being a very close second, because she is pink feathers. And then, I've just reached the point where they've been captured by the mountains, so that's not going to be pleasant. Honestly, can I take off his head? Um, Wyman Manderley is is at Winterfell, and I'm loving his character. I'm very disappointed we didn't see him in the show. Lady Hornwin is fun. Bran is wise beyond his years. Can I just say he's doing so well for a boy of nine? Also, the Reeds have arrived, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, little finger, little finger, how much I hate thee. And Cersei is a petulant child who needs to be coddled along with being an idiot who loves power way too much, which is a very dangerous combination for everyone involved. So, <sighs> Cersei. I like the mountain clans, though. Um, I like I liked Yorin. I'm, I'm I'm generally sad that Yorin's now dead. Did I put Danny? Yeah, Yorin's dead. This is very sad. <laughs> I love this line on Twitter at the end of Arya's most latest chapter. It's like, and now they're captured by a freaking mountain. Arya's lost needle, and Lomin's dead. Hopefully, Reeves have got away. <laughs> Things just gone badly, though. Lomis was an idiot. He kept saying one year and one year. I'm like, how can that help? Especially with the freaking mountain. I don't give a damn about your year. Rickon is getting more and more wild, and there are so many lines in this that I just adore. I've already quoted the Baratheon one, said by Donald Noy, but I'll just quote Renly's again because it just sums him up completely. That and Renly, that one. He's copper, bright and shiny, pretty to look at, but not worth all that much at the end of the day. Very true. But then also we've got, uh, Catelyn's got quite a few good lines, as much as I dislike her. Go home to your three-year-old son. Bronze and iron were the metals of winter, dark and strong to fight against the cold. War had made a man of him before his time, and then... Because it will not last, because they are nights of summer, and winter is coming. And then Arya's got another one too, she cuts deeper than swords, very true. Sansa has gotten a lot smarter. Like Sandal Clegane, I must I don't know where he stands for doing that. Says, I gra I'm grateful that you're protecting Sansa, but you're being really creepy. And I think he means to steal a kiss off me. I'm like, dude, the girl is thirteen. Calm your panties. Calm. And I really like Aries Hokart. Is that Aries Oak? Oh, Cart. He seems to be the only worthwhile member of the King's Guard. 
of the king's guard at the moment i will do a more detailed book talk later but that's just my current thoughts i am really really enjoying this book that wraps it up for the reading rush day one i hope you enjoyed if you like if you did like comment maybe even subscribe and if this is my um instagram account just give it a like let me know all right bye guys